guys, it's Layla. Today we'll speak about the CNS tumors. These tumors can be located anywhere in the CNS, in the telencephalon, the cerebellum, or even the brainstem. There are several classifications, but the most general one that we will start with is whether it is a primary tumor or if it is a metastatic or a secondary tumor. Before we move on to the primary tumors, you need to know what is supratentorial and infratentorial. So draw a line between the telencephalon and the rest of the brain, which is the cerebellum and the brainstem. So above this plane, just with the cerebrum and its contents will be supratentorial. Below this level will be the cerebellum, the brainstem, it is the infratentorial. Now, let us look at the supratentorial primary tumors. So you have the supratentorial ependymoma, then you have oligodendroglioma, meningioma, and astrocytoma. So these are the cells present in the telencephalon. You have the glial cells, which are the astrocytomas. You have the meninges, which is the meningiomas. You have the oligodendrocytes, or the oligodendrogliomas. Then you have ependymal cells, which gives you supratentorial ependymoma. Moving on to infratentorial, you have the pineal region tumors, the pineal gland, the craniopharyngiomas, the optic glioma, the pituitary tumors, schwannomas, brainstem glioma, infratentorial ependymoma, medulloblastoma, and cerebellar astrocytoma. You can either keep the structures of the brain in mind and remember these tumors accordingly, or you can just associate it with something that you do every day. So for example, you are sleeping and you wake up. So the circadian rhythm, the clock of your body, the pineal gland, so pineal region tumors. You can hear your mom screaming, wake up, schwannomas. You open your eyes, optic gliomas. You take over the breathing yourself, so brainstem glioma. You need to get out the bed, you need balance. So the cerebellum, medulloblastoma, and cerebellar astro, cytoma. When you stand up, your CSF moves about, so you have the infratentorial ependymomas. And then finally, your body finally wakes up. You need all the hormones to get you going throughout the day. So you have the pituitary gland tumors and the craniopharyngiomas. Secondary brain tumors are from tumors outside the brain. They mainly arise from the lung cancers, the breast cancers, and the skin cancers. On to our next classification, you have benign or malignant. This is based on the histological characteristics. If it is slow growing with distinct borders and it does not spread, it's not infiltrative, it is benign. If it's aggressive, rapidly growing and it invades the surrounding tissue and it can metastasize, then it is malignant. So the benign tumors of the brain, they are the adenomas, gliomas, astrocytomas, grade 1 and 2. You have the craniopharyngiomas, the pituitary adenomas, for example. The malignant ones are the blastomas, the sarcomas, the lymphomas, leukemias, germ cell tumors, and carcinomas. For example, you have the pituitary adenoma, which is benign, and then you have the pituitary carcinoma, which is malignant. On to our next classification, which is whether the tumor is a glioma or a non-glioma. Glial cells are supportive cells in the CNS, so those originating from the gliomas are astrocytic. There are four different grades or stages of astrocytomas. Then you have ependymomas, oligodendrogliomas, medulloblastomas, mixed gliomas, anaplastic ganglioglyomas, choroid plexus papillomas, and pineal tumors. The non-gliomas are the craniopharyngiomas, the meningiomas, the schwannomas, and the lymphomas. Because the lymphomas originate from the lymphocytic cells, 
then you have the craniopharyngiomas, which is from the pituitary around that area. You have the meningiomas, which is from the meninges. And you have the schwannomas, which is from the nerve cells. They're neuromas. So the cells of the CNS, those originating from those, are the glioma tumors. On to our last classification for today. Whether a tumor is extraaxial or intraaxial. Extraaxial tumors are tumors that are located outside the brain parenchyma. As you can see in this picture, so they arise from the meninges and the nerve sheaths. And intraaxial are tumors located within the brain parenchyma, as shown here. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.